evening. This is Dr. Saida. I guess it's evening in some parts of the world already. And today's practice will be a sensual practice. It, it is good for grounding, but it's a sensual practice. It's really helpful for um, liberating the, the tension in the body that we can hold when we're stressed to activate that rest, digest, and play um, response in the nervous system. And it just feels delicious. So if you want to join me, we're going to stand with our legs pretty wide apart. So the legs are wide, knees are bent. And then what I want you to do is just move the weight side to side first. Just moving that weight side to side. And let your upper body respond to that side to side movement. And then add awareness of your own breath. <sighs> Close your eyes. Take some full deep breaths and just transferring that weight and letting your whole upper body respond like your feet are rooted, but your body is like a soft seaweed in an ocean of deliciousness. So you're just moving side to side. This allows your spine to start sending signals of relaxation. Good. And then I want you to kind of bring your arms up and really open them. And just with the open arms, side to side, relaxing your head and neck and jaw, breathing. And I want you to imagine, yes, maybe there's stress. Yes, there are challenges. Yes, there are difficulties. So you allow yourself to be honest about the truth of the current reality you're in. But it's also a new moment and a new day and we can choose together. We can choose to pay attention now to our bodies. You can let your arms come down a little, softly swaying, breathing, allowing. And then play with the movement, play. Maybe there's different ways that your body wants to freely move around using the breath and start to acknowledge that no matter what's happening, you, you get to choose. I get to choose, just saying that. And I am choosing, what are you choosing today? I am choosing to feel deeply alive. Bring your legs in a little and moving the hips just a little more, playing with your hips. This is just free movement. So you want to, as you're breathing, let your body be more free. There's no choreography here. Just not moving in stuck ways that you usually move. Exploring your range of motion with your breath. And as you're doing that, noticing how you're feeling. If you need to tap your chest, if there's tightness there, Tap your chest, if there's tightness in the belly, tap your belly, maybe just in the back of your neck, maybe your head. Tapping, and then again, releasing. And even more movement, more movement. Release your body, let your body play, breathe and play and feel as you open, feel, really feel. Feel and you move in ways that for your body feels so good. And it's going to be different for each of us. I can't see you. You can only see me. So you can be silly and weird and wild. <sighs> okay, we're going to do a series of breaths together. So we're going to inhale and come down with our hands like this. Exhale, expand. Back 
backs of the hands. Two more. Good, and then just standing here, bring your legs in a little more. I want you to put a hand on the lower part of your belly. This part when we get scared can get really tight. And I want you to put a hand over your chest, your heart. This also can get constricted in stressful scenarios. So just having that little side movement. Now, closing your eyes, just holding yourself, taking a full body breath and noticing the areas underneath your hands expanding as you breathe in and let a sigh out as you exhale. Expanding as you breathe in. Push your hands. Really kind of wipe down your body. Wipe it down. Okay. So as you're moving through your day, let's move over here so I can sit. As you're moving through your day, um, really acknowledge <laughs> the curtain. Really acknowledge um, your amazing skill set at any moment. If something gets to be too much, if you find your mind is looping, especially in a negative pattern, the way we can have mastery around that, if we want to pattern interrupt, is to literally start to intentionally breathe and move in ways that open the body because these um, spinning thoughts constrict our body and they activate the amygdala and they activate the sympathetic response of fight or flight. So by moving and breathing deeply, and acknowledging that you have what it takes to take care of yourself and get yourself centered and grounded, then you actually entrain your body to do this more and more. You become more and more masterful at it. So maybe by the end of our weeks together, this is an amazing, new, awesome skill that you can use for the rest of your life. I deeply appreciate you. Thank you. There's Simone, there's V, Tamara, um, Beth, all these amazing people that will be here also later. Um, if you're watching this as a replay, I appreciate you. And we'll keep doing this as long as it's serving. So I will see you again then tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a delicious day. Make it delicious. Okay. Talk soon.